today. I'm going to show you how to thread the circular knitting machine by Innovation. This machine normally comes with a rubber stopper, the rubber pad that prevents the machine from moving. Okay. Before I begin, uh, make sure you attach your yarn guide. And I just like to keep the plastic on here you know, in case I'm cooking and I've got a few minutes in between and I'd like to knit a few stitches. It would be wise to have a basket in front of the machine. That way you can put your yarn and you can pull your yarn without having to chase your yarn all over the floor. Then you take the end of your yarn, take a clothespin, any kind of clothespin will do. This just provides the initial weight of the yarn. So the machine comes with 42 needles, but there is one needle that is colored and that acts as your guide. So I'm going to take the yarn, thread it in front of the colored needle. You can actually begin at any needle. And as you crank the machine, you have to put the yarn on every other needle. Back, front. Back, front, back, front, back and front. Back and front, back and front, until you reach the end. Again, make sure you have plenty of slack and Thread the machine with the needle guide. You might like to hold it for a while as you turn the machine and make sure that the needles catch the yarn. Again, making sure you have plenty of slack. Thread the yarn to sew the yarn guide. Now you might have to experiment a little bit with the yarn yarn guide as to how many loops you want around it because if the yarn is too tight the machine will not turn properly. Okay. Well, that looks good enough. And slowly. Again, if you find that if your yarn guide goes up, then that means you have no more yarn. So don't forget, always make sure you have plenty of slack. And then when you feel confident enough to turn the machine a little faster, again, before you do so, make sure you have plenty of slack. Yep.